Hey everyone, Kieran here, and this is the Game of the Year again for 2018. This time we're going to go through our top three. This, these are the ones that Paul, myself, and Mike all argued about on the podcast. You can go listen to it. Uh, we only did the top three this year because we kind of we wanted to focus more on the podcast about discussing the games that we liked and why we liked them, rather than kind of nitpicking about which one was better than the other one for the overall list. It didn't really feel like something we wanted to do this year so our top three is kind of more of a here are the three games that we all enjoyed a lot a kind of like middle ground for all of us uh but that doesn't mean that we don't feel strongly about these games we fucking love all of these games so let's get into it at number three we have tetris effect tetris effect is Tetris meets Luminous or Lumines or Lum Lumin, you know the game I mean, that PSP game that had the music and the shapes. But what if instead of having a puzzle game that I didn't really like that much, but I know other people do like, it had Tetris. Tetris is a tried and true thing. Tetris works. What if you give Tetris awesome visualizer effects and awesome music, and it just made it like this weird emotional experience? It'd be great, and it was. Tetris Effect is awesome, it has some fantastic music, it plays fantastically, it is probably my second favorite Tetris game. I, I can't call it my favorite because I really, really like Puyo Puyo Tetris. But my god, it is so goddamn good. It also has a VR mode that I've not even played, but that's probably good too, right? Tetris Effect, PS4. Our number two in this game of the year list is Into the Breach, which I played on both PC and Switch. I believe Mike and Paul both played it on Switch. Uh, I picked up twice because I enjoyed this game so much. Into the Breach is basically a 2D uh, turn-based strategy game, or tactics game I guess technically, where you're playing as a group of three mechs. Sometimes they're kind of big Metal Gear looking things, sometimes they're planes, sometimes they're whatever, but basically mechs. And you're fighting against these bug aliens that are trying to destroy cities and do other things, basically. They're going to overrun the world. Try to stop them. And the way you do this is that you beat the crap out of them. But the thing that's so good about Into the Breach is that you are at all times aware of exactly what's going on in the map. And it's really difficult, so you are required to pay attention to this kind of stuff. You only have three guys at any given time, so when five bugs come in and are all about to attack buildings, what do you do? You don't, you can't focus on killing all of them because you're not gonna. And instead, the focus of it becomes about mitigating how much damage they can do. And so instead of killing bugs, you're focusing on moving them out of the way. So for example, the way this works is that enemies will move and then they will point in the direction they're going to attack and it will outline they're going to attack here next turn. This is an enemy that you know attacks directly in front of it one, sp one space. So if you move back one space it's going to attack directly in front of it one space and not hit anything because you've moved it back one space. And that's everything is kind of similar to that. So you're kind of focusing more on moving enemies around than just straight up killing them. Of course you want to kill them as well, that's kind of the end result. But turn to turn, a lot of what you're doing is just mitigating the damage they can do. Instead of going, I need to kill all three of these bugs, you're going, I need to make sure all these three of these bugs don't hit the buildings they're going to hit. And then if I also get to kill some of them, that's good. But one step at a time. And it's just brutally difficult and fantastic. I love it so much. That's Into the Breach. Got it. So our game of the year of 2018 is Spider-Man. Marvel's Spider-Man if you want to be pedantic and you know, what the actual name is I guess. Uh, this game came out for the PS4 exclusively as it was made by Sony and it's great. It's just they made the best Spider-Man game. It has a fantastic story that manages to avoid falling into the traps of telling the same old Spider-Man origin story that we've heard a billion times and are bored to hell of, while also managing to, you know, 
have its cake and eat it too because it it tells that story it tells that origin story it's smart and the villains that it handles it handles fantastically well just overall it is this story of this kind of slightly older spider-man that's been at it for a while he's locked up tons of villains already he's been at this he knows what he's doing and it feels that way even in the gameplay like it's just so smooth and simple to get around and all the combat is so fluid and really great and that's not even going to cross like the graphics like the graphics of this game are insane like the that each costume that you unlock ha is so detailed that you can zoom in with the photo mode and just have all this like individual fucking fibers of the suit showing it's so goddamn good uh that's marvel's spider-man for the ps4 that's a hold up. And that's it for us this year, guys. That's our top three games of 2018. What were your top three games of 2018? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, subscribe, all that nonsense. Go watch some of our other videos that should be probably showing over this just now. See ya.